Okay, this is a short video on how to create a rust collage. Okay, we've used coffee at different um, stages to create a sort of textured background. So we've got a very light wash of coffee and some splattered um, sections. We've got a light coffee background and some drips. Okay, I've done that twice. Okay, so some more drips on that one. I've used a coffee cup and I've dipped the bottom of the coffee cup in a saucer of coffee and I've created a sort of rounded effect on those two. Okay, and the last one is quite dark coffee and then a little bit of splatter on the top. Okay, so I've got about six pieces of paper ready for my collage. Okay, I've got a print stick, some pens, and a pair of scissors. Okay, that's all the equipment that you need. Okay, so I'm going to start by just moving this away, and we're going to do two at the same time. So, what I want you to do is to get your darkest one, okay, fold it in half, fold it in half. And just tear it down the middle. So we're going to work on two at the same time, two pieces at the same time. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just decide what I would like on top of my work, okay, on top of my collage. So we're trying to make a built up rust textured surface. So with this one, the coffee cup one, I'm going to just tear around some of the sections, just leave some on, okay, just tearing around different sections and that might go down the side of one of those, okay. I might tear another little section down this one here, trying to keep some of it rounded just to create a textured effect and then I might put that one onto there okay so you can see I'm doing two at the same time okay this one has got some nice drip effects you can see at the top here okay so you could either cut them out with a pair of scissors or tear them okay so I'm going to tear this sort of section down here because I quite like that dark section but I'm just going to tear it down You can take your time to do this. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. Tear it down. You can see it's like that. So I'm just going to tear it up to here. Okay, tearing these little sections away. And again, building up onto my area here, okay, of my rust. Okay, so I'm building it up just gradually. I might want to put another little section over onto this one over here. So I've got a sort of triangular section there and I might want to layer that on top of that one over there. Okay, so you can sort of see a different texture coming together there. Okay, so building up gradually. So you can see the, the darker coffee in the background with some splodges on there, lighter sections, okay, and darker sections. Just playing around with it, okay. I'm just going to take some of my little splodges that I've got here on another one. I'm just going to tear around some of those really carefully. You can do this however you, you want to do it. So I've got a little splodge there. So I might just want to put my little splodge on the top. I could leave it like that or I could tear closer to it. Okay, and just have it, have some of them onto the background there. Okay, so again, just working through whatever you think looks good. Layering it up. Okay, got another little splodge going on there. 
might want to put that onto there so we're starting to see the rust how it peels away rust always peels away in layers okay so it's like that okay now i'm just going to stick these down okay and then i'm going to do some pen work on it okay so i'm just going to get my stick quickly i'm just going to stick them down as fast as i can okay you can take your time with this could tear around the edges you could do whatever you want to it really okay that one looks quite good over there a nice drippy effect going on there and a drip effect going on to that one there so you can see the different layers building up okay so this could be the rust um, under the sea on a shipwreck or on a sculpture you could have it coming off the edges like that i quite like that how it comes off the edge there okay so it doesn't have to be in a square rectangle okay so just take your time with it see what you can come up with just get my little dot there okay so that's about how much I want you to do for the background there. Now, if you've got biros, fine liners, anything that you can find, okay? So make a black mark. You can add in some sort of little textures or outline in some bits. So with my biro, I'm just gonna add in some little cracks. Can you see those little cracks? Might be some little holes in there, might be some little sections that are actually coloured in with the black. Okay, like that. You could add a green pen onto this, that would look quite nice. Okay, so adding in little sections as if we've got another darker cracks going on on the rust okay i'll just come over here i might have a little go over this side okay as many as you want okay i'll come back to that in a bit okay so that's how to build up the rust section so you need two okay so you just split one piece of paper in half and do two at the same time so you've got two samples well building up your layered You've still got these bits over here so you can use as much as you want okay and build it up gradually 